So let's keep this session more interactive. You guys can ask me questions about the internship experiences and uh, like what are the steps that I've taken to crack the internships and how, how I'm managing both dev and CPU also. So you guys are free to ask anything about anything. Hello. Mm -hmm. May I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. So now I am already uh, I have already done uh, much BSA, but I don't know how to get the internship in my third year. Currently, I am in my third year. So can you please mm -hmm. suggest how did you apply to BNY Mellon and crack that internship? BNY Mellon was my on-campus internship, but Bloomberg, uh, I got the internship in Bloomberg and Poly and early stage started that is electric pay off campus. How did you apply for Bloomberg? Actually, I applied for Bloomberg UK through LinkedIn, but after the OA, they told me that we are not hiring from India as of now, as the current situation is not going good right now. So they told me that whenever they open position or uh, position for uh, Bloomberg Pune, they will reach out to me the first. Okay, so after after two or three months, they reach out to me that we are we are started hiring for interns in Bloomberg Pune. So the HR told me that we are going to for, to share your interviews. Before that, we are going to share one bit uh, with the hiring managers and the after the mid they they share my interviews within a week or within a week so, and they they haven't took my OA also because I have already qualified the OA uh, OA for the Bloomberg UK. So they, they didn't they didn't consider me for the OA also. Oh nice. Can you give so, some uh, that how can I grab an internship for third year? Yeah, sure. So as of now, uh, if you look at the current market situation, everyone is everyone is applying to the same method, right? You will go to LinkedIn or anything else, and then you and or the or the career pages, and you will apply directly, right? So instead of doing that, what you can do is to go directly to the hiring managers. You can find you can search for the hiring managers on LinkedIn or Glassdoor, and and look for the contact details and contact them directly. Like if you're looking for internship in startup, you can just, uh, you can uh, just go, you go for the list of uh, the, the startups available on the Y Combinator also. Just go on, just go through them, find uh, find the name of the company, search them on the LinkedIn and try to find out the details of the founders or the, or the uh, people working in the startup and contact them directly rather than applying to number of startups uh, uh, to the career pages. That's not going to work. Like if you see, if you're seeing that, uh, if you're seeing like in five minutes, around 100 to 200 people will fill that application, right? There is only only one or two percent chance that your resume is going to be shortlisted, right? So this is not going, this, this conventional media is not going to work out any day, right? So you need to, you need to stand out from the crowd, crowd. So for that, you need to make some unique projects. Like if you are going to many resumes of many people and the common thing I've seen that like people will focus on DSA and the web, right? So, but no one is going to give a shit about the app development or computer vision. Like there are many fields, right? Devs, et cetera. But people will still be focusing on the web dev and DSA only. It's not going to work any day as of now. There are many things you need to do, you need to do to stand out from the crowd. That's the only thing is going to help you right now. Okay, thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, can I ask mm -hmm. a question? Yeah. Sure. Oh, so hi, Pranav. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm a 2025 batch mm -hmm. student, and I had been like for the past three months applying to off campus internships, like almost mm -hmm. like 100 companies. Mm -hmm. And out of them, like I got OA links of say three, four companies, and mm -hmm. uh, solving all the questions, uh, and no response after that. This so, happens a lot. This happens a lot. So, like, is it common or like, uh, there's some it's problems? Common. It's common. Like... If you look at the current situation or current market situation, it's really common. Oh, okay. So, actually, like, I haven't got even one opportunity to interview anywhere. Like, so. Mm -hmm. It happens. We'll just keep keep on applying. That's the only solution to this problem. Like you will get you will get uh, shortlisted for many of the companies. You will you solve the all the problems in like 10, 20 minutes or so. So you are not going to be shortlisted sometimes. This happens. Like I have been shortlisted for Microsoft uh Amazon for more than seven times, like I think. And I have saw all of the questions in like 20 minutes, but still I haven't got any interview at Amazon yet. 
Oh, okay. Makes sense. This happens a lot. Even the same goes for the Microsoft also. Oh, okay. And uh, apart from applying on careers pages, so mm -hmm. uh, like say there are some internal openings in a company. So like mm -hmm. what's the best way to approach anyone? That as of now, what I'm doing is like trying to connect with as many as people on LinkedIn, like making good connection with them. Like instead of LinkedIn, please try to be active on Twitter also. Twitter is a great place to reach out to people. Like if you're messaging someone on LinkedIn, they will barely going to look at your message, right? But on Twitter, you can interact with their tweets directly. Uh, like there, I, I know many of the people, uh, many of the hiring managers are available on are on Twitter. Like from Google, I know I know two or three people are, are on. Google uh, from Google and they are active on Twitter and Autodex also. So uh, so like they keep on posting opportunities like this is the position which is available. You can directly reach out to them on Twitter also and they will they will actually reply to, you, to your message. But if you are trying to reach out to them on LinkedIn or anything else, they weren't going to see your message. That's why, like, like on LinkedIn, like many of the like thousands of people are going to reach out to them, and that's that's very impossible for them to reply to everyone, right? But on Twitter, very few people is going to uh, going to message them, and and the the chances of getting a reply back from there is very high over over Twitter, and you can also ask them questions on their tweets also. So and as as Twitter is very open, like they are bound to answer your question, right? They can't ignore your question, so that's the benefit of using Twitter. And you you won't believe like I have got many opportunities to Twitter, and that's the best platform you can be active right now, instead of using LinkedIn also. I am not saying that LinkedIn is not good. LinkedIn is also good, but instead of LinkedIn, try to be more active on Twitter. That's more beneficial right now. Oh okay. Oh uh, that made it very clear. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Uh, hi. Also, uh, if possible, uh, mm -hmm. could you like uh, share your resume which got accepted in Bloomberg, so like uh, sure. I can get an idea of like how a good resume looks. Sure, sure, no issue. I will share. I will share the template of my resume. Actually, I share my resume on Twitter also. Through that, like I got reached out by many people to for the internship opportunities. So that's the that's the best point of Twitter. Like people will reach out to you if you if you're sharing your learnings and resumes over there. That's the best point of Twitter. That's why I'm telling to be active on Twitter. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm 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 seeing more questions on the chat. What are the minimum things should be in your resume for third years? So if you're talking about the internship, if you want to get an internship in third year, you should have maximum three to three projects at least on your resume. Good projects. I'm not saying that you you are going to uh, like you should you should have some unique projects on resume instead of making clones from YouTube tutorials. No one is going to give a shit about those clones also. Mm -hmm. Like if you are making a clone or chat up, like they are they are literally thousands of thousands of resumes over there like having the same project on that. Like uh, I'm, I'm uh, right now. I'm studying in NIT Nagpur, right? So I have seen many resumes of my seniors mm -hmm. as well. Those who have chat application as their project, and they're just they're struggling with it because of having such projects. So we make some unique projects, have some good skills. That's going to help you out. So I hope that answers your question, Ajay. Uh, actually, you need to look for the problem. Okay, I will. I will just share you the like. How can you make good choice? Okay, so just go to the SIH hackathon site and search and look for the problem statements of previous year and this year, and make projects out of them. That will be unique projects. If you look at the problem statements that which are available on the Smart India Hackathon website, those are really unique and those are actually real life problems, which which is which is really going to help you stand up from the crowd. I hope that answers your question very well. You can uh, you can turn on your mic also. If you want, I will. I just want to make this session interactive.
okay, I, okay, I will share. I will share about my projects. So I have built like many projects over uh, over uh, computer vision. So my one of my favorite project is to uh, have you guys hear about the Microsoft Kinect project. Have you guys heard about the Microsoft Kinect? Hello, I'm Audible. What, sir? Have you guys heard about the Microsoft Kinect project, which is a which is kind which is kind of a, like conjuring games using hand gestures? Oh boy, it's, it's like PS5 also, but it's it's really different from the other 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 consoles. Okay, so in so what I what I did what I did was uh actually I wanted to purchase that Kinect Kinect setup which was like around thirty k thirty k, so what I did was like I built my own controller through uh through which uh, I can control the whole game whole triple A game through my finger gestures or the body movements like if I'm moving in the left direction the player will move also move in the left direction. I can literally control the uh, gestures. I can literally control the movements of the player through my fingers also. So I made the whole setup. Like that game, like that console cost around thirty k. But I made that game. But I made that console, console, uh, console only in the my only in Python whole console setup. That was that's the that's the best use case of computer vision. And computer vision is going to be the future of future also. Like as you as you might have seen, like Facebook going to uh, Facebook has just released uh, their glasses right now. They are glasses. That's uh that that's really good. And computer vision is really going to be helpful in future also. I can I can share one video with you guys if you want to see. Uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, just a minute. I will share my screen. Uh, I hope my screen is visible. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I will just show you the video. I'm going to play the video on 2x, okay? Okay, one point for zero. As you can see, I'm controlling the game through my fingers and body motions. I hope this answers your question really well. So this is this is how you can use computer vision. Like I have made one. Uh, have you guys used Mac devices, iOS devices? So you might have seen like when whenever you use FaceTime, there is an option like you can move around the around your surrounding, but the cam but the camera will try to keep you on the center of the screen always. I made the clone of the same feature on Python using computer vision. So this is how you create features which are which is going to be used by many people around you. And this is how, how you can make your resume stand out from the crowd. I can share the link of my YouTube channel also. You guys can go through all the projects. Uh, that will that will give you a much idea about how unique projects you can make. Uh I hope that answers. Can, can I go? Can I move on to the next question? Hi, Pranav. How are you? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. I'm fine. Uh, I was asking, like, uh, how to know what technology we should start with and what are some emerging technologies? 
it depends on what you want to build actually like you can't say that like i'm going to learn monster i'm going to build this 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 but but that but that project requires you to learn go right but instead of that look for the project what you are going to make think about the technologies which are which is which are going to be required by that project and then start building and then start learning with that but but instead of but but now that's what people are doing like they are they are going to learn the xyz and then things like i'm going to build out of these things but that, that, that's not how things works right you need to think about the project then think about a tech stack what tech stack you are going to use for that project this is how you should work so pranav like how you started when you are doing this like when development uh as of now i'm doing flutter app development so what i do is to like uh, like think about the project ideas then i then i like basically like what i do is to like uh, divide the project into small small pieces then then work on that part yeah, as of uh, this is how i work on project no i was asking like what was your first project and what was your motivation how you started like uh my first project was air cursor and the motivation was behind this too i i wanted to learn computer vision for robotics club that's why i started okay nice Uh, I'm seeing a more questions. How good in CSC is probably sticking for my Infosys and or Codeforce right now. My reading structures between. As of now, I'm 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 a specialist on Codeforce and I'm not much much focusing on CSC right now. I'm just giving contests. Like I'm I'm literally inactive on Codeforce since two or three months. I'm just giving contests as of and I'm not doing practice right. Now. I'm I'm focusing more on develop development side. uh how to convert an intern to prefer it's really easy right so just keep communicating with manager and and complete your task in uh, in the given timeline and and please try to over deliver them like like if you are given if you are assigned task a you must complete that task and ask for the task b and you should also complete that try to complete that task or give solution give some alternate solutions for the task a also and try to try to uh, try to like be more communicative and discuss with your teammates like how you how you can ap uh, approach that task or like why of what are the issues that like, you are going to face in that uh, in that task and how you are going to tackle them discuss with them try to be more uh, more active on the teams also and and, and also ask for doubts and keep on communicating with your mentors also this is how you can grab a uh, grab a pp this is what i did like Uh, like also keep on documenting each and every day. This is how you going. This work going to keep you motivated also, and and it will also help in your presentation at the end of the internship. Uh, here I'm saying. Uh, here I can see a question from Rajat Shrivastav. So okay, can you tell us like going to be? So what I do is to like divide the divide the project into small pieces and then start working on it. Like as of now, I'm working on GRPC project. So what I do is to like divide that project and then think about like what are the issues I'm facing, like how I'm going to solve them. Then I need, and then I document them. What are the issues I'm facing, and then try to solve them. This, this how I approach any project. This, this is a, like everyone has their own way of solving, but this is how I do. And okay, I think that answers your question. Any other questions? Uh, I hope I am audible. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, sure, sure, sure. 
Uh, can I share my resume over here? Sure, uh, just a minute. I hope my screen is visible. Can someone please confirm once? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, sure. So here's my resume. As you can see, I have done two internships. Uh, I had done one internship before joining PNY Mila as ST intern. Then these are two internships as of now in my resume. And these are my technical skills. And then comes the most important part, that is the project section. Then these are my assumptions. So in the resume, you must have, have good projects. Then followed by like assumptions. I'm like, you can mention your coding profiles and your ratings and the ratings and so many things. So like, I haven't updated, updated my resume from my days, right, as of now. And and you should have CGP also. As of now, I have a low CGP, that's why I have removed that. But that's very important to have CGP on your resume. I hope that. Okay, let me. Uh, okay. Is it visible now properly? Hello. Okay. As you can see, these are my two internship experiences, and these are my achievements, and these are my projects. Like one thing I noticed that people usually don't mention, uh, like, uh, like they they used to like paragraphs in the project section. Instead of that, they can they can like create two or three bullet points out of that paragraph and write that instead of writing the whole paragraph and bold the most important part of uh, uh important keywords out of out of out of that also. That will give a like a, like clear picture about your resume. The same thing you can do for the internship experiences and project section also. So okay, I hope that that clears your doubts. Uh, any more questions? Or oh, if you want me to share my internship experiences also, interview experiences also, I can share that also. Yeah, sharing your Bloomberg, Bloomberg interview experience will be really helpful. Sure, sure. So, so actually, the HR directly reached out to me on uh, on LinkedIn, like oh, uh, on LinkedIn that you that you that uh, I have, like before that I have been shortlisted for Bloomberg UK. So due to some issues, they they haven't moved. Uh, they haven't moved, moved to the next next round due to some issues. So they directly reached out to me for the Bloomberg Pune Pune internship offer when they when they open the positions. So. So for that, uh, the, there were four rounds. The first round was uh, was uh, was typical DSA round. Two, they asked me two questions, like two questions. Like you can consider, uh, consider like in the level of lead code medium to hard. The first question was quite quite easy for me, as I have been doing lead code from from many days. But the second question was quite tricky. Yeah. But but it, it was it was a uh, but it was but it just like uh, some customization of DP problem. So so I faced some issues uh, issues by solving that question. But but at the end. I, I was I was successful in solving both the questions, and in the second in the second round they started with the system design system design question, then then they move on to move moved on to the next move on to the DSA questions. Uh, they asked me two DSA questions and project discussion, followed by system design uh, system design question. Then after that after that uh, after that after the two rounds uh, the HR round started with uh, project like there there we discuss about the project and typical HR question where we are there. That's 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 the sum of, that's some of the entire uh, Bloomberg experience. 
okay and uh, also could you like share uh, how how did you like study and prepare for system design for your internship interviews like the resources and Sure, sure, sure. So what people do is to like go and watch YouTube videos for system design, but instead of that, search for articles. Like, like there are only three to four categories of uh of things you need to focus on. Like, so um, so basically, if you want to make a shopping website or like shopping system, or shopping or something like shopping website system, so what you can do is to like search for the blog. Instead of instead of instead of video, go through that. Go search for the keywords into that, and search more into for that. And go on and keep on keep on going through going through as as much deep as you can do. And if and if you're not comfortable in reading documents docs, then you can like you can go you can you can prefer prefer uh prefer YouTube channels also coding and and concept days when when YouTube channel then uh, there are many actually engineering channel also is really good. So you can prefer like. I I I I I like reading docs instead of watching videos. These are these these what going to help you building projects also. Also, like what exactly is asked in like system design in like in inter internship interviews? Like they, we are supposed to code or is it just like discussion? It is just like a discussion, but I am not. I am not allowed to actually share the whole question as of now due to a due to a agreement signed between them. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Hi, Pranav. Hi, hello. <clears throat> Uh, my name is Tejas. Uh, I did two internships in uh, two startups, and I have another uh, one more offer from fintech startup. But in all three internships, I got selected without DSA, entirely on the DSA mm -hmm. uh, on the full stack skills. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm not good in DSA. Uh, actually, I am looking for full time roles, but I have no idea because I'm literally beginner in DSA. <laughs> I'm you are I'm in third year right to, now. Uh, no, uh, currently in uh, last year and from tier three okay. college. Okay, so what do you want to ask exactly? Uh, uh, uh see, uh, uh, I, I'm confident that uh, I will uh, get any uh, uh, full-time offer in startups, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Because I I already have previous experiences in internships. So, uh, but uh, you know, I'm not sure if I get a good package because for a good package, I need DSA skills, right? So, shall I? I mean. So that's why I'm a little bit confused between DSA. If you're I mean, comfortable, how... if you're comfortable working with startups, then it's fine. No. Uh, so uh, will it be any problem if I didn't do DSA? Uh, if you want to go for MNCs, then DSA is must. You can you can crack you can crack OS without CP also. CP is must for OS, but but if you if you just want to crack interviews, then Litco is enough. Uh, okay okay thanks uh, i will try that side by side also sure yeah it's easy to maintain board it's not really hard. yeah but i didn't maintain so that's the actual problem. you can you can start right now you have time uh, uh, okay okay thanks Any more questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Actually, I am in my first year and I want to start development. How can I do mm -hmm. that? What development you want to do? A web app? I am actually confused in this also. What I should actually start. So you should follow your interest now. Like uh, I like app development instead of web, web uh, more more than the web development. So that's why I'm doing app development. You must explore both the worlds, and then you can choose. Like if I if I suggest you to go with the app development, it it might be possible that you won't like app development. Like I have seen many people that they don't like app development, and that's the reason. Like you won't see much content over YouTube also regarding the app development. That's why you you have uh, that's why you have, you see more content on web development also on YouTube. So you must explore what the things, then choose whatever suits you the most. Okay. Anything else?
Uh, you can look the message. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, I missed the messages. Sorry. Okay. Uh, hello, cursor. So what I will suggest is to is to please don't leave competitive programming. Like it, it will be really hard to uh, it will be really hard to crack coins of the companies. And if your college is really good, then it might be possible that your com your college uh, the companies good companies very good companies will visit your campus, right? So if you are going to leave those competitive programming, it 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 will be really hard to crack OS. So please don't leave competitive programming and do both. Both development and CP along with it. If you're uh, like try to give a break uh, to CP for like one or two months, then then come back to it. It will really help you. So Rajat, my approach to learn new tech stack is to like building project. That's the only thing. I don't like I don't like YouTube videos. Uh, I I like to go through dogs. That that's the most important. That's the most helpful thing for me. Like uh, like if you if you look for the flutter tutorials, there are many many available on YouTube, but none of them are good. So what I prefer is the uh what I prefer is to go through flutter the official documentation. That's really helpful. Like whatever like if you want to insert button, like you just need to search for button flutter uh button documentation of flutter. That way your your whole list of things over there. That's really helpful. That's the quickest way of. Uh, implementing thing instead of watching one or two do implementing a button anything else oh they i think like okay but they query a big okay so sure sure okay thank you pranav thank you everyone who attended thank you so much okay so i am recording it